Yo, 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 you know what's going on YouTube. It's your boy Visual Artist J back with another video. We got a package in the mail today. I already opened it. I had to make sure all my parts and shit was here. New parts. Today I'm gonna teach you how to turn this into a simmer rig. This is Sony A7S III. I don't know if you have one. If you do have one, this video is for you. If you don't have one, you will You will still be able to do it. You just gotta find the right part that actually fits your camera. So we're gonna turn it into a simmer rig, the low budget way actually, because there are different parts that you can buy. Some stuff costs more than others. So I'm gonna just show you how to, you know, just, just to get it a tad bit cheaper. I forgot to start the phone. Your rails. These are 12 inch rails uh, made by Small Rig. This can hold attachments, anything that you need to add to it. You know, you need the rails, man. We have our mat box. So, right here, we have the not small rig, but the Magic Rig cage. Fits perfectly on the A7S III, uh, as well as the top handle. I chose the Magic Rig version simply because, to be honest, the shit was cheaper. It was like $60, I think, for the rig and the handle. So instead of small rig, I got Magic Rig. So before I take everything out of the box, I'm actually gonna go ahead and mount my camera. So make sure all attachments are off the camera first. If you don't make sure your attachments are off the camera, then it actually won't fit. Some people mount theirs without the uh, without the lens on it. I actually go ahead and mount mine with the lens on it. I just don't feel like taking it off. And you may want to be a little more safer than me instead of using scissors to tighten your shit. Boom. Now you got the rig. Not the rig. The cage. You put your cage on, tighten your screw at the very bottom. Again, make sure there are no attachments or anything you know, in the way. From there, we'll go ahead and mount our handle, which is actually a NATO mount handle. So you just unscrew it, latch it on, and make sure it's tight. Next, we have, we have our V-mount battery that is actually gonna be used to power either the camera or the monitor or both. We have our small rig battery mount. This is for our V-mount battery. What else? We might as well go ahead and unbox everything. Take everything out the box. Um, I don't know what the fuck this is. Rod support. I'm just going through the box, man. Take everything out. Eight inch rods. I don't even know why the fuck I ordered these. Yeah, I think I ordered two sets of rods for no reason. If you want to use a shorter rod, like an eight inch, I actually got the 12 inch for a reason. But as you can see, there's eight inch as well. This right here is our, this is our D-tap to DC adapter uh this actually goes from our v-mount battery to our monitor because the monitor that i have um i actually have a cheaper brand monitor you'll catch a lot of people that actually use like the the uh, ninja v you know uh those type of monitors that you know you can do a whole lot more shit with uh with this monitor it's nothing to record straight to or give you 12 bit pro res or all or anything like that uh it's just a decent monitor to have so all right this is our base plate. Base plate is very important. Of course, your base plate goes to the base of your camera. And then our quick release to make the whole setup a lot easier. Bingo. Boom. Here we have our base plate, good build. Usually you can attach this directly to the camera. Instead of mounting this directly to the camera, the quick release plate goes to your base plate. Easy. And we're gonna take this, which is our plate, and we're gonna mount it to the bottom. Yep. Boom. Easy. It's good to me. So, so far, this is what we have. Quick release plate at the bottom. Our main base plate that actually fits the, the rails are actually connected to the quick release plate to keep us from having to do so much. So, what we'll do is simply slide our camera in on the quick release, just like that. Now, the next thing I would do is actually add my rails, these rails right here. You put these through each side, Make sure your screws are actually loose enough for the rails to fit. So a little slack in the back, a little slack in the front. Uh, it's a preference, just depends on what type of attachments you would add. 
I know for me personally, I'll be adding a V-mount battery to the back. So I will need just a little space. Easy, first rail locked in. Same thing with the second rail. And you wanna make sure just everything is, you know, just good and tight, not all over the place. Got enough space. And there we go. So our next step is gonna be the V-mount battery. It's a mini V-mount battery, uh, probably like 180 for the battery. It's two D-tap ports. I can actually use this to power the monitor and the camera. But like I said, the Sony a7S 3 has a pretty good um, internal battery. Like the battery inside the Sony, say, look, the battery inside the Sony a7S 3 is pretty good. So, but before we mount the battery, we have to make sure we have our V-mount battery plate. Pretty small, pretty convenient. Um, you actually have to attach the parts together. So you take your V-mount battery plate and you actually connect it to your rails to the very back. Before I do that, I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull out my screen because I plan on like having this on the side just so I can see it. Uh, Cause I may need it for who knows. All right, boom. So now what you wanna do, take your battery and simply just attach it. Just that easy. It's just that simple. And it's, this shit is getting heavy already. Uh, even just the, just the battery and the attachment itself is giving it a lot of weight. Um, it already looks very, very professional. It, look like it looks like a different camera, but. Real quick, make sure you keep your screws. Put all your screws, your, your alley wrenches and Oh crap, put them up, put them somewhere, put them in the closet, put them in the equipment closet, equipment box, anything, you never know when you'll need it. Keep it put up for any reason, man. Next, we wanna go ahead and add, we're gonna go ahead and add our mat box. The cool thing about this mat box, it actually comes with adapter rings, and when I say adapter rings, that means this mat box actually attaches directly to the lens versus having to put it on the rods. You just put it directly on the lens. You just gotta make sure you got the right rings or the right lens. Uh, for my lens, I have a 28 to 75 on mine, which means that my thread is 67 millimeters. So I'm gonna go through and find the 67 millimeter thread, attach it straight to the lens first. You can just set the matte box directly on it. So once you get that attached, you're actually going to take your matte box and put it directly on the front. You're gonna screw this. This is a dope matte box, it's clean. And you open it up, and this is what you have. 20 minutes. And it shouldn't have taken that long, it's just cause I'm doing the unboxing, I'm trying to make the video as well. So uh, any other time, it won't take me this long to set it up. I'll pretty much be using this on a day-to-day -day basis. But so far, this is what we have. We're gonna actually go ahead and add our newer monitor. I'm actually not gonna mount it directly to here. I went ahead and bought a monitor mount. The monitor mount would actually allow me to not have to unscrew this and do that to, you know. So I got the monitor mount just to make it a lot easier for me to maneuver. Uh, just bend it down however I want to bend it down, turn it however I need to turn it. So we're gonna go ahead and slide this in here with our hot shoe. And then we're gonna screw our monitor mount in. So now this is what we have. I actually might not need this rod support. It sits pretty stable on the ground, so I think I can leave it like that. Next thing we're gonna do, last thing but not least, we're gonna connect to our D-tap on the side of the V-mount and go ahead and run it to our monitor to get our monitor powered on. The camera actually has a battery in it. We have an HDMI cable right here. So we're gonna go ahead and attach that as well. And this is what we have. A Sony A7S III Cinema Rig. Not too bad, not too much. Cost efficient. If you can afford it, 
do it, but I just wanted to show you guys an unboxing of how I did that, how I put it together. This is what I'm on now. Uh, like I said, it'd be real good for a lot of weddings that I do with my girl. Just a lot of music videos, run and done, handheld, you know, cool, cool on the go shots. If you don't have time to mount your Ronin or anything like that, this would be the way to go. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, drop a comment below, hit the subscribe button, hit my DMs or whatever, man. Y'all hit me up, let me know if this works for you. Let me know if it works for you, and if it don't, I'm sorry, I tried. Maybe you can find somebody else that can do something a little bit better or give you a better option, but this works for me. I'm glad I did it. I can't wait to put it to the test. Um, you guys stay tuned for more videos. We got more stuff to do, a lot of shit to do, actually. With that being said, I'm out.